anyways next reason for why i'm 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 taking off tours um charles left the activity center when he was the only one there and there was no one to cover instead of calling another person or department for help so what's the story behind that so it was only me left in the, in the act it was me and my manager in the activity center and then she had a she had a she there was a there was an atv tour happening so she went to lead the atv tour and when she went she went on a, like she went on a tour so she knew she knew i was the only person um um in the activity center so she let, went and left and left and, and led the tour now after like sometime 10 minutes or so i hear a shrieking voice coming through the radio like yelling screaming and and there were i was like working with a cut i was working with a customer and then i just like hear like somebody yelling through the through the through the radio and i couldn't i couldn't make it make out the voice my manager's voice she said charles help bring the bring the side by side um the side by the the side by side tv and the side by side the side by side TV is just like a bigger atv so bring the side by side tv blah, blah, blah. she said that, like there was a lot of static in the radio so i didn't understand everything she said but she was a shrieking and, and what i hear was like somebody got hurt somebody i i heard i could have sworn i heard now i didn't hear somebody die but i heard like i heard that somebody got hurt badly i heard somebody got hurt and like she was yelling through the radio and now i'm there there are other customers there and the customers were like you gotta go take care of that like you gotta gotta go take care of that now i'm like now i'm hesitant because 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 i know you never if you're the last soldier and on base you never leave your base so i don't know what to do so i was like oh my god what do i do what do i what do i do now, now i know somebody's like now from from like the tone in the information communicated through the radio i know somebody's life is probably at stake so now the customer that i was talking to that customer is good friends with the general manager. Matter of fact, she comes to the resort very um often so that her daughter can play with the with the GM's daughter. So like she's good friends. So like if anything, she will protect that 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 company. So she said she she told me, listen, go take care of that. I will stay here. Um, I will close the door. I will stay here, and I will and I will um if any customers come, I will turn them away. And I did that. I ran to the um ran to the um to the side by side and I brought the side 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 by side to my manager. Come to find out, nothing happened. Nobody was hurt. It was just like I think I think like a a, a ATV just shut down. Like it just stopped working, and she just so she just needed like a, another like a bigger machine to pull that ATV and and drag it back to the to the activity center. And she said. Is somebody waiting at the at the activity center? I said no. It's some. You said somebody got injured. You said it was an emergency, so I came. Emergency. I think it's. I think a customer's life is more important than the activity center. And um, anyways, when we got back to the activity center, she said, "Don't do that again, because if the CEO had walked into the activity center and there was nobody there, we will all get in trouble." Now I'm like, and I try to explain to her that. I left somebody to watch over the activity center, but again, she cut me up and said, no, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay. She doesn't do it again. She didn't even hear my, my response. She doesn't do it again. Girl. <laughs> like, like what the hell? In, 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 the, in the part that says, um, that says, um, instead of calling another person or department for help, Apparently that's the thing. I didn't know that was. I didn't know we can just like radio other departments to tell them to cover for us as we go take care of business. That's something that started happening after I got suspended. After I became a three fifths and a three fifths tour guide. <laughs> Anyways, so now you see, now you see, and and at the at the at the end she says he is good at interacting with the customers. So I informed him that he still could work the that he still could work the counter. We need a person to be there for the guests when the rest of us are on tours. 
You see, so that's the real reason why I got I got, I got suspended. She needed. We were under staff regardless. Like if there, if every tour is booked, there's literally nobody left in the activity center to 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 look over the activity center. So she needed somebody to be on base at all times. And me being black, being so so great with customers, and being so vulnerable to her accusations, she could just like pen all these accusations at me, just like make me look like the worst person ever to be in that department. And then have me stay there permanently. So I can be there when all of them are there having fun, making all the tip money, giving tours. Ruining tours. <laughs> See? That's like this, this is all planned. Like this is all planned. The only thing is that I had nobody, nobody to defend me on my on my side on my side to defend me. You know why? Because can nobody tell her how to run her department? Not even the general manager, who is her super her boss. <laughs> So I, I think I told you earlier that um that I was on my way to to transferring out, out of out of the out of the department. One of the main reasons why why I tr I decided to you know why screw it, I'm gonna transfer out of the department, aside from being a three fifth tour guide, is one day I walk in, I walk into the activity center and uh, and all my tips were gone. So there so we have like there's like a a, a, a room for that employee the employee access only. BS. It's not employee access only because you can just open the door and go in whenever you whenever you want. Anybody can just go in the door. But in that room, there's like there's we have um small small boxes where they put our tips. So so um and I went to check in there and my tips were not there. Like my tips from the previous day were not there. So I asked I asked around. I asked my um, I asked the the person who closed from from the night before. Did he separate my tips and put my tips in there? He said yes, he did. Um, and I, and I, I couldn't find my tips, so I asked. My, I told my manager, my tips are missing. Like, are you gonna do anything about this? That means somebody literally went in that room and stole my money. That's that's a big issue. Or is there anything you can do about this? She said, um, honestly, I don't have any power over this. Um, I don't know if the cameras even work. Um, I don't know if the cameras even works, and and if they do work, I don't have access to them. I don't know what to do about this, but I'm gonna talk to the GM and get back to you. She basically told me that there's nothing she can do about it. My tips are gone. Screw it. Nothing's gonna happen. And and the only people who the only people who know that the tips are in that room are the employees in that department. So somebody in that department stole my money. Somebody there stole my money. So, okay, I was like, okay, she's not gonna do anything about this. So I'm gonna take matters into, matters into my own hands. So at the end of the night, um, the the person who closes is supposed to bring um bring um the money from the cash register to the front desk. And I told and so I told the person I I talked to the front desk person and I talked to the person who closes at night. I told him, listen, whenever you um. Whenever you're you're done closing at night, instead of putting my tips on the on, in in the in the in the queue in the box where right, where you usually put the tips, bring my tips to the front desk and I'll pick up and I'll pick it up the day the the next day. I don't trust anybody in that department anymore. Cool. Somehow, word got to my manager that I'm not leaving my tips in the in the in the in the area anymore in the department anymore. She got pissed at me she got mad oh um we this she 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 like put me us she even put me aside i was actually restocking and while i was on my again on the floor putting the chips on the shelf she came on me like she came on me while i was on the floor just looked down and said okay i don't like what she started yelling at me said i don't like what you did this this whole department is 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 based on trust you broke you broke my trust by 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 asking for your money to go to 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 be kept at another place um so um, so your your punishment is that you're gonna keep your tip money in that, and whatever happened to your tips happened to your whatever happened to your tips happened to your tips. Okay, the um, the the our money stays here. We gotta we gotta trust each other that our tips are uh, that our tips are gonna stay here. That nobody's gonna take our tips. A bunch of BS. And I was just like, trust. Somebody who just walked in here and stole my money, and you're gonna talk about trust? What? So. After all these accusations of why I'm banned from tours and 
and then my tip getting stole, stolen. Um, after all that, it's obvious I'm getting attacked in that department. Like, I'm getting racist. I'm getting like I'm getting picked on. I'm getting picked on, and and, and from my outside per perspective, it looks like I'm just getting picked on. But knowing, knowing that my manager is my manager is racist, and everybody knows she's racist. Knowing that, like now nah, I know I'm getting picked on because 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 um I'm black, but also because I stand out as a as a as an employee. I stand out like. My customer interactions are great. My tours are amazing. People like come to it. People legit come to China Hot Springs just to go on my tours, just for me to make them a, a, a cup of coffee. And that has happened multiple times. And she has witnessed it. There's a whole lot of jealousy going on here. So I'm getting attacked. So at that point, I was like, you know what? Screw it. I'm gonna transfer out of, outside of that part. I'm gonna transfer out of that department. Transfer to another department. I never wanted to work for for the um for the um for that department regardless so i'm out